It might drip a little bit, but that's fine. Make sure you have a clean area to do it. All right, today we're gonna bring a five blade shaver. We're gonna test it out and see how it works. So uh, I do need a trim, a big time trim in my head and in my beard. So we're gonna go ahead and use this and see what you can do with it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, out of the box, you get the clips. All right, you get the charging station, which is a, a type C to type A charging station. You get pretty much everything that included the actual blade system and the five blades already installed. You get different types of blades, a nose trimmer. This is a brush in case you're gonna um, shave for you could spread your actual shaving cream. And also a small little blade so you could trim down your beard. So this is a scrubber. I actually own a couple of these to um, wash your face. This is silicone, made of silicone. You put a couple of, um, a little soap and it becomes a lot of foam. So very simple to use on that one. I like that one. Nose trimmer is a plus. So if you don't know one, recommend you get one. As, you, uh, as older you get, you're going to require one of these. This is the entire set you get out of the box right now. We got a couple cleaners too. This is actually to make sure you maintenance and keep this clean. Also brush some of the um, some of the blades. If you guys can see, these are the actual blades you're going to require to trim down your beard or maybe your sideburn. So we're going to use this one first. And the way you do it, you take this off. Make sure that the triangle is facing up and the lines are facing up, all right? So that's pretty much it. You could do it the opposite way if you want. If you feel comfortable, either or. Um, this has a good hand grip. Turning on button. It tells you right here in the front. Time used, three seconds and so forth. So we're gonna use this to trim our beard down just a little bit. We're gonna use a three millimeters, all right? So we clip it on. All right, shaving is very simple on this one. I put three because I do need a bunch of it. All right, after trimming it down with a different type of blade right now, I trimmed down my beat my hair so I can start actually shaving with the machine. Now, this is very important and critical. If you're gonna shave with this machine, you need to wet your hair or you're gonna get burned. So wet the system first, all right? Make sure you wet this. Put some of your favorite shaving cream on your head. And after, I would do after shave after. So you make sure that you put that in there. If any damage to your head or anything like that, make sure you wash this too at the end. I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So let's go ahead and set it up. Wet your hair first, wet your head first, all right? Before, prior to setting up the, the shaving cream. Then get a little bit of your favorite shaving cream, put it all around your head. In the back of your neck is the most important part because this is where you get burned the most on these kind of blades, all right? So make sure you you clearly put them all over your head, all right? In the places that you don't think that you will pass a blade. And then what I recommend you is get a little bit of water, enough water so you can dip your actual blade in there and clean itself up. So we're gonna go ahead and start the actual process. Dip it in water first. Make sure this is also lubricated and start the process. It might drip a little bit, but that's fine. Make sure you have a clean area to do it. Shave all around. Circles if you want, up and down here on the skull part. Dip it in water, remove some of the shavings, start the next process. Okay, so let's clean ourselves up. So there we have it, we clean ourselves up really good all around the back. So all around the back. Really good shave. Um, so far I like the blade, now let's clean it up. Let's see how it looks. I clean the blade, make sure you have enough water. Sink it in there first, move it around. In the center one, you have to remove it on the uh, by twisting it, all right? So when you go in here, just make sure you shake it around just a little bit, not too hard, all right? Now let's get the middle one out. The middle one pops out, very simple, clean it out, 
let this dry up open all right make sure that it's open when you want to dry it out you don't want none of your components to get wet all right when you get it out this is how it properly is supposed to be all right open it all away remove this clean them all out you'll see the messy water all the hair little particles uh let it dry up before you actually put it together and you can put this you could take this apart if you want that's an option just remove these the blade remove this and you could keep this separately so you know you could put this away and have this so this is not submergible um protected it's only submergible this part of it all right so make sure you don't submerge this or take a shower with it so very simple easy to use i hope you guys enjoy the video 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel i hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful and i hope you hit the like and subscribe